Today is going to be very meditative. We got to slow down and think about what we're going to do so we can weave everything together to get the solution we need. What we're dealing with today is top scores and dealing with the ties that happen. And we're doing this in Power Query. Check out this data. We've got the scores. Abel, Fabian, Finch, everybody. But let's sort these by the score descending. Starting with 40 and we're going down to eight with Leon. Now, if we want the top three, that's easy. Mary, Shona, and Abel. But now what happens when we get to top five? The top five takes us to Cole. But you have all those other people who also have 26. We can't have them hollering at us because we clipped it off just because of the alphabetical order. We've got to include everybody that's got a 26. So that's our challenge today. Let's slow down and let's think about this. But first, we got to get everything in the Power Query, right? Right now, I've got a query for the scores. Now we need a query for this top five or whatever our cutoff is going to be. So let's go here from table slash range. Table does not have headers. OK, right click, drill down. What are we going to call this? We're going to call this wanted. That is the wanted query. And I'm going to load this as a connection only. Okay, next I'm going to go into the scores query. Edit. Here are the queries. I'm going to duplicate this. Right click, duplicate. I'm going to call this my cutoff query, and you're going to see why. Cutoff. We got to slow down here. Over here, we want the top five. Here is our cutoff. So what we want to do with these scores sorted like this, we want to go to reduce rows, keep rows, keep top rows. And I'm going to deliberately not choose five. I'm going to choose nine. OK. Next, I am going to sort this ascending by the score, ascending. Next, I'm going to click this cell, right click, drill down. That's the cutoff. So now we've got to weave this together. Let's go to scores. And then we're going to filter. For greater than or equal to, I'm going to put the number 2 in here, just any number. OK. Now, where that 2 is, I'm going to change this to cut off. Ha <laughs> ha. We're getting there. But we have to go to cut off and change this step. Keep first row. And instead of nine, this has to say wanted. Enter. All right. Slowly coming together. So let's see what's happening with scores. OK, there is our scores. Now let's close and load. Here's our list of the top scores that we want. I'm going to move this cut so here we see we do have the top five and that includes everybody who scored 26 now let's do something else let's do top 15 enter data refresh okay here are 15 because we get down to Damien and then Isabella has less than what Damien has. So our top 15 does have 15. But if we go to our top 20, refresh, this would be our top 20. 
at Candida, but we've got to include everybody else down to Marnie who has a score of 11. Let me summarize what's going on. We've got the scores. We wanted the top five. We have to extract that top fifth score and then include any score that's greater than or equal to it. So we just didn't draw a line. We had to go get that number and then say, if you are equal to or greater than that number, you're in. That's what's going on. It took some thinking, but we got it.